Assalamu alaikum dear students hope you are fine by the grace of Allah so today I am here from Labi and Jafi Steak and today I am here for class 5 English version students so dear students today I will be discussing about chapter 11 weather and climate of your elementary science book so students let's start this chapter so students at first in this chapter you will be able to know about the relationship between weather and climate what is weather and what is climate you will be able to know in the second Topic. Then our second lesson is about the air pressure and wind. How does the air pressure and winds affect our climate? Then you will be able to know what is low pressure and high pressure and why does it happen. Then in the third lesson you will be able to know about the components of weather and climate. There are some components of weather and climate. And in the fourth lesson you will be able to know about the extreme weather or the bad weather. For example heat waves, cold waves, flood, droughts. Norwester known as Kalboishek in our country, tornado, cyclone, etc. Now students, let's go through the exercises of this chapter. So elementary science class 5 chapter 11, weather and climate. So at first we'll go through some tick marks. Number 1. What does air temperature mean? A. How much hot or cold? B. More vapors or less vapors? C. Heavy or light air? D. Sunlight bright or dim? Answer is A. How much hot or cold? Number 2. What does happen when air pressure falls down excessively? A. Storm. B. Rain. C. Heat wave. D. Cold wave. The answer will be A. Storm. Number 3. Which one is seen every year in Bangladesh? A. Full flood. B. Earthquake. C. Heat wave. D. Snowfall. The answer will be A. Flood. Now the fourth MCQ. Where is the difference between weather and climate? So reference A in time, B in place, C in direction, D in strength. The answer will be A in time. Now students, let's go through some short question answers. Number one, name three natural disasters of Bangladesh. Answer, three of the most common natural disasters in Bangladesh are number one, cyclones, number two, floods, number three, river bank erosion. Second question, what is weather? Answer, weather refers to the atmospheric conditions at a particular place over a short period of time. It includes factors such as temperature, precipitation, wind, humidity, air pressure and cloud cover. Weather can change rapidly and is influenced by a variety of factors including the earth's rotation, the distribution of land and water and atmospheric circulation patterns. Third question, what are the components of climate? Answer, climate is the long-term average weather conditions in a particular region. It's influenced by several key components. Number one, atmosphere. Number two, hydrosphere. Number three, cyrosphere. Number four, lithosphere. And number five, biosphere. Fourth question, when does air blow from the ocean to land? Answer, air typically blows from the ocean to land during the day. This phenomenon is known as a sea breeze. F fifth question, how does weather forecast help in our life? Answer, weather forecasts are essential for many aspects of daily life. They provide valuable information that helps us plan and make informed decisions. Now students, let's go through some descriptive question answers. Number one, what is air pressure? Answer, air pressure is the force exerted by the weight of the atmosphere on a unit area of the earth's surface. It is measured in units such as millibars or hectopascals. This is not for you, so ignore this line. Then altitude. Air pressure decreases with increasing altitude as there is less temperature atmosphere above. Temperature. Warmer air is less dense than colder air, so it exerts less pressure. Humidity. Moist air is less dense than dry air, so it exerts less pressure. Now our second question. How does low air pressure create? Answer. Low pressure systems are created when air rises due to heating or changes in wind patterns. Here's a breakdown of how this life process occurs. Number 1. Heating. When the earth surface is heated, the air above it becomes warmer and less dense. This warmer air rises. 
Number two, convergence. As air rises, it creates a low pressure area at the surface. This low pressure area attracts air from surrounding areas, causing it to converge and rise. Number three, Coriolis effect. The Earth's rotation causes the converging air to spiral, creating a cyclonic circulation. Number four, rising air. As the air continues to rise, it cools and condenses, forming clouds and precipitation. Low pressure systems often bring cloudy and rainy weather as well as strong winds and storms. Number 3. Why is there more rainfall during rainy season in Bangladesh? Answer. There's more rainfall during the rainy season in Bangladesh due to combination of factors. Number 1. Monsoon winds. The monsoon winds, which blow from the Indian Ocean towards the Himalayas, bring moisture-laden air to the region. Num Number 2. Orographic lifting. As the monsoon winds encounter the Himalayan mountains, they are forced to rise. This rise in altitude causes the air to cool and condense, leading to heavy rainfall. Number 3. Low pressure systems. The monsoon winds often create low pressure systems over the region, which can further enhance rainfall. Number 4. Geographical location. Bangladesh location near the Bay of Bengal makes it particularly vulnerable to heavy rainfall during the monsoon season. These factors combine to create the heavy rainfall that characterizes the rainy season in Bangladesh. Number 4. Explain the cause of Kalboishaki. Answer. Kalboishaki is a type of localized storm that occurs in Bangladesh and parts of India during the pre-monsoon season. It is characterized by sudden intense thunderstorms, heavy rainfall, strong winds, and sometimes hail. The formation of Kalboishaki is influenced by several factors. Number 1. Heating and convection. During the pre-monsoon season, the land heats up rapidly, leading to strong convection currents. Warm moisture rises rapidly, forming towering Columbia clouds. Number 2. Shear. The difference in wind speed and direction at different altitudes shear can contribute to the formation and in sorry friends. Formation and intensification of Kalboishaki. Number 3. Localized heating. Uneven heating at the of the land surface, such as due to variations in vegetation or topography, can also trigger the formation of these storms. The combination of these factors leads to the development of Kalboishaki, which can bring significant rainfall and sometimes cause damage to property and infrastructure. Now, our fifth descriptive question is How do weather and climate alike and indifferent? Answer Weather and climate are both related to atmospheric conditions, but they differ in terms of time scale. Weather refers to the atmospheric conditions at a particular place over a short period of time. It includes factors such as temperature, precipitation, wind, humidity, air pressure, and cloud cover. Weather can change rapidly and is influenced by a variety of factors, including the Earth's rotation, the distribution of land and water, and atmospheric circulation patterns. Climate, on the other hand, is the long-term average weather conditions in a particular region. It is typically defined as the average weather over a period of 30 years. Climate is influenced by complex interplay of factors, including the Earth's orbit, the distribution of land and water, ocean currents, and atmospheric composition. Similarities between weather and climate. Both are influenced by atmospheric conditions. Both involve factors such as temperature, precipitation, wind, humidity, air pressure, and cloud cover. Both can be affected by human activities such as greenhouse gas emissions and land use changes. Now, difference between weather and climate. Time scale. Weather refers to short-term condition, while climate refers to long-term averages. Stability. Weather can change rapidly, while climate is more stable and predictable over longer periods. Predictability. Weather forecasting is challenging due to the complexity of atmospheric processes, while climate prediction is based on long-term trends and patterns. In summary, weather is the day-to-day -day atmospheric conditions, while climate is the long-term average of those conditions. Both are important for understanding the environment and making informed decisions. Now our sixth question, which month is better for going on a picnic, July or January? Why? Answer: January is generally better month for going on a picnic in Bangladesh compared to July. Here's why. Pleasant weather. 
January falls in the winter season, which is characterized by cool and comfortable temperatures. This makes it ideal for spending time outdoors without getting too hot or sweaty. Then less rainfall. The winter months in Bangladesh typically experience less rainfall compared to the monsoon this season in July. This reduces the chances of your picnic being disrupted by rain. Beautiful scenery. The winter season is also a time when nature is at its best. Many picnic spots in Bangladesh offer stunning views of large greenery, colorful flowers and strange landscape. While July can sometimes offer pleasant weather, it is also the peak of monsoon season. This means there is a higher likelihood of rain, humidity and potential flooding, which can make it less comfortable for outdoor activities like picnics. So students, that's all for today. Hope you have liked the video. If you liked the video, don't forget to comment and also don't forget to subscribe. And for new videos, must subscribe our channel. So that's all for today. Assalamualaikum.